find the inverse Laplace transform of s, all being divided by s minus 1, s minus 2, and s minus 3 solution. In this problem, we will use partial fractions. So we'll have s over s minus 1, and then s minus 2, and then s minus 3. And we have distinct linear factors. So this is a over s minus 1 plus b over s minus 2 plus c over s minus 3. There's a couple different ways to do this. We're going to use what's called the cover up method. So to use the cover up method, well, I'll just show you. Let's find A. So you look at A. Here's A right here. And you ask yourself, what makes the bottom 0? Well, 1 minus 1 is 0. So if S is equal to 1, that's going to cause a problem. So then you go back over here, and you cover up S minus 1. And you plug in 1 into everything else. So it's 1 over, and then 1 minus 2, and then 1 minus 3. So you basically cover up the s minus 1. That's why it's called the cover-up method. So again, you look at your a, you ask yourself, what makes the bottom 0? Well, s equals 1 makes the bottom 0. So you take 1 and you plug it in over here. But you don't plug it into the s minus 1. You ignore that piece. You cover it up. So this is equal to 1 over 1 minus 2 is negative 1. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So we end up with 1 over 2. Let's go ahead and find b. So here's b, and again, you ask yourself, what makes the bottom 0? Well, 2. So s equals 2 causes a problem. It makes the bottom here 0. So you go back over here, and you cover up the s minus 2. You ignore it, and you plug in 2s everywhere else. So 2 over 2 minus 1, and then 2 minus 3. So this is 2. This is a 2 here. 2 minus 1 is 1, and then 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So we get negative 2. Let's go ahead and find C. Well, here's C right over here. And again, what makes the bottom 0? Well, S equals 3. So then you cover up. I can cover it up now, I guess. You cover up. That's the last one. You cover up the S minus 3. And then you plug in 3s everywhere else. So you get 3 over 3 minus 1 and then 3 minus 2. So that's 3 over 3 minus 1 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. So we end up with 3 halves. So that's called the cover-up method. Very powerful. All right, let's go ahead and rewrite what we have. So we have A is 1 half, B is negative 2, and C is 3 halves. So we have 1 half, 1 over S minus 1. And then B was negative 2, so minus 2 times 1 over S minus 2. And then C was 3 halves, so 3 halves times 1 over S minus 3. You'll notice I put the numbers on the outside. The first term really is written 1 half over s minus 1. But you put it out front. It makes it much cleaner. All right, to finish, we will just take the Laplace transform. So the or inverse Laplace. The inverse Laplace transform of s over s minus 1, s minus 2, s minus 3. This is the same as the inverse Laplace transform of all of this stuff over here. So 1 half, 1 over s minus 1, minus 2, and then 1 over s minus 2, and then plus 3 halves times 1 over s minus 3. The inverse Laplace transform is linear, so this is equal to 1 half, so 1, inverse Laplace of 1 over s minus 1 minus 2 inverse Laplace of 1 over s minus 2 plus 3 halves inverse Laplace of 1 over s minus 3 at last. And now recall that the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s minus a is simply e to the a t. So finally, we have reached a point where we can write the final answer down. This is equal to 1 half. Here, a is 1. So we get e to the 1t, or simply e to the t, minus 2. Here, a is 2. So we get e to the 2t. 
and then plus 3 over 2. And here a is 3, so we get e to the 3t. And that is the final answer.